Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Six Ages Ride Like the Wind. We are the The Makers. And I mean we got friends. We got lots of friends. And we're gonna work I mean we're gonna start working now towards the trade route. I don't think Yeah, we're gonna start selling some of our herds. We're just gonna send them at this point. We're gonna buy goods and sell horses. Pull them on. You can go, that's fine. Carver's back from the Earth Thalings. We traded 40 cows worth of goods for 52 shaggy cattle. We seemed interested only in how much meat was on our riding horses. Barbarians. Valley is so largely unknown, I think we should send out me and a few others to explore. Yeah, exploring is so hard, though. Probably be eating up more over the coming year than we can produce. I am aware of that. Um, we can do another caravan. Which we shall do. We will uh, buy goods and sell herds with you. 50 cattle for 50 cows worth of goods. Not great. Ideally we want to get a bonus there. And the seven stars are raiding us. We will try and go for survival here I think. It was daring in combat. We will conduct a magic ritual. We'll go for fire hoof. Both of them did it. We'll start off with the skirmish. They got the worst of the deal. Another skirmish. They are reserving. We will charge at them. Locked in melee. Hold our ground. Hold our ground. Hold our ground. And we have won. Nice. Couple of deaths there. But overall, very good. Overall, very good. When a cleansman is barged in with the current family, brings an honor belt for student gold plaques to show the council. He spotted bandits prowling the family pastures and scared them off. They must have dropped the belt while fleeing. Your traders recognize designs belonging to the Sky Racer clan. The plaques are worth around 20 cows, more than most such belts. Judging from that, it probably belongs to a noble. Senior noble. The clan is wealthy, so no one will object if the council sets the gold aside for future gifting. We honor... Not... We measured our honor, not with bells, with the entries in the official records. Nobody really seems to care much. Generosity is the mark of heroes. I agree. Baron, you may go. Take five swords with you. Lashena, you may go. They thanked us. The family of the noble who had lost the belt sang us with songs of praise and gifted us with fine jugs. I do like fine jugs. Um, we can definitely continue trading here, can't we? Do I have someone going out already? No. Who remains? The Sorending, the Ukarning. We will sell goods by herds. Yep, you did go to last drilling. We traded 50 cattle for 65 worth of goods. That is a lot of goods. Lots of goods. 65 fewer head of cattle, but we traded a lot of them away. Got fewer horses than we did. I think we're going to go exploration. And uh, ritual now? Good year for trading missions. Stole magic for a clan. We did not ask them where. And then what? Fields, pastures. Now we have field magic stress. We gotta, we gotta lay off that, I think. We'll keep one in reserve. We traded 40 cows worth of goods for 52 shaggy cattle. Not bad. Not bad at all. Olgar, chieftain of the Castlelings, has stepped down from that role. Their leaders replaced him with Eir Nisrin. Under Olgar, the Castlelings held us in poor esteem. If we give them the gift the next season or two, we might have a chance to get relations with them back on the right track. Cast Waltings. I'm definitely down for that. Where are you guys? Oh, but you're hard to get to. I don't think we can do that. Clean slate with the cast well. We'll try. We'll even bring 10 goats. Go for it, Baron. Otherwise, you know what to do. Someone is already going somewhere. Or is this the last... The last one. Do that and that. Baron is probably could not find a place. Keep trying to cross. They had to turn back. Drawn clan magic. 
They were able to cross and continue journey. We did lose one population, which is fine. Just give gifts. They are more favorably disposed towards us. We're most pleased. Okay, so clean slate with them. You're kind of that the Ormoth clan have been pleasant of late, or at least not hostile. This is true even though they are not high orderings like you, but ram people. Some of your clans say you should build on this feeling. We don't want to do this. We can cheer up the people by taking pride in our disinterest. We need to cheer up our people. Wait for them to come. People said they were proud. The Maker's Clan does not go begging to others for friendship. It waits for them, others to come begging to them. We do need to get our clan mood up. There is no venture in progress. Well, that is a mistake. Restore pastures. Yes, another year would do it. Do you have us back from your carnings? Please, we got 40 cows with the goods for 44 shaggy cattle. And we've made a really important step by sending a caravan to every Vincotling clan in the valley. This will help our trade not just with them, but with all local clans. In fact, we've now sent a caravan to every clan in the Black Eel Valley, which is a rare accomplishment. Should we now be possible to establish another trade route? Indeed. And we can do another venture. Which we're just going to feast again, right? Feast to give the people cheer was not as popular as Endry hoped. Harmony magic might have helped, she said. Oh. Harmony magic might be needed to boost our happiness here. Our approach to the castle things bore good fruit. Their attitude towards us has much improved. Our group of your forages fail to return from your wildland. Searchers don't find them. They do locate a spot where the bushes have been trampled with droplets of blood nearby. Seven people are missing in all. Why are we talking instead of searching? Whatever took them could do harm to our searchers. Send the spirits. Perform the long and taxing version. The content guides who promised to find the missing people and lead them back to us. A few days later, the, the spirits came to our shamans in a mass dream and said the people who sent them to find no longer existed. Mood is gloomy. Mood is gloomy. On the other hand, I mean, we can do more trade routes with uh, you guys, right? No, we already have one. Do we have a trade route with you guys? Go, Kandak. Our food stockpiles are adequate, which is nice. We have a lot of goods. We have a ton of goods, in fact. Maybe, the seven stars, you guys hate us, right? What if I send 30 goods to you? Caravan is back from the Flint Hearts. They agreed to trade us on a regular basis, made a profit from this trip. Just give gifts. Fortunately, they still think poorly of us. That's too bad. I was hoping 30 would make them like us. Um, allying with ghosts who hate them will cause the Rams to fear and dislike us. Yeah. I think we'll just perform a ritual to Relandar the Elder. We'll get 15 goods. We're swimming in them. Priests whirled, but we're unable to ascend to the sky. Lashina said none of our gods specialize in putting the dead to rest. Death was too new in the world, at least as gods reckon such things. That's not good. Who rejects? They, re they accept. They accept. They reject the Sonara of Revelation. They accept it. Just the seven stars? The seven stars and the Zarhawk, huh? Go out here again. Go in, Onika. Late dark season? Um, I mean, we can just keep trading. We have so many goods. Can I have another route? Can I have another route? Perhaps. Go, Kandak. 
Tricord emissaries greet you on your clan border. Their magic is at a low ebb, they say. They will consider a favor you owe them. Discharge if you perform a blessing right to restore it. Giving them good fortune in the trying ahead. Trying the seasons ahead. Nobody has any advice. We don't have uh, magic. We can get them with Sparrow's magic. And we will try the taxing version. Plus mood. The tricorns discharge the favor. That's nice. And you want me to trade. I mean, I have goods. Why would I sell our herds? Sell goods, buy horses. To the arrow stones. Pretty sure they don't have herds, but it's fine. Around the Swift comes with a Flintheart delegation seeking your participation in this upcoming wedding to Redalda, the beauteous young ram priestess. By the way, we married him, and we were just like... We just, like, cast the uh, the other girl aside? What happened there? He asked Baron the Tall to act as his war singer, to proclaim his deeds and bless the union. This is not just a marriage between people, but between peoples. Named your long friendship, I humbly beg your support. Act as his war singer. Stage a preemptive strike against the ram killers. Call him a snake in the grass and send him away. That's not my guy, is it? I urge your Baron to accept. Unable to remain cold in the face of his old friend's guileless joy, he relented. They embraced and declared the conflict between them dead and buried. Do you do anything else? No. Return to the fields of black glass where we had seen Yamsur astride Hippogriff by another god. There was no sign of them, but we were able to find flakes of obsidian worth 12 cows. Okay. I guess more horses was always a good thing and agreed to regular trade. We made... A small profit. Trade 40 cows for 11 horses. Right. You've not done enough to ensure our people are fed. You really want Dostal's blessing, don't you? You really want it. I think we're going to just continue exploring. Okay, so we know that's there. And I kind of want to just explore further away. Go, Nika. Good luck. A trade delegation from the Arthelian clan makes a surprising quest. They wish to trade your... Yeah, have a little fun at their expense. We need the mood. We need the mood. 50 more head of cattle. 9 fewer horses. 5 fewer people. Harmony. More exploring. And ritual. I was a little surprised that they saw a few arguments with the clan. Proceed. Fantastic news about Lashena. Due to her many hours of sparring and practice and sincere armies to Elmo and the other gods of war, Lashena ability at arms must now be ranked on par with the heroes of legend. Don't currently have market and trading magic support trade with all our regular trading partners. Yeah. So we did take one too many. Priest of the Zarak related to partly remembered story about elves that tended Emperor Yelm's garden and planted the first Yarm tree. Interesting, if true, but not very useful. While we were exploring in the northeast, we spotted a cliff face with Hyalur's rune near a grove. One of the warriors climbed up and found a tiny carved jewel. It must have been one of the treasures Hyalur hid for us before he died. Like the long ride story tells us, our clan magic is now stronger. You've been raising barley. Yeah, you want me to again convert? Convert some pastures? Of course we need to do this. Barzan led the clan, he had a hard time. People complained that he'd asked too much too fast. Old fields became grazing land for our goats. Good. Delegation of swords, Arasan arrived to demand an annual tribute. No. Refuse, promising that we will soon attack the arrow stones. Yeah, we will attack them. Store pastures, convert pastures to fields. No, we still we want to do that. But we have to wait now. Clan mood is worried, which is getting better. Dog, beaver, spider, don't really need any of this stuff. We 
could consider sacrificing to Arcana, improving our market. Yeah, crafting is well and good. High lore. Vanilla. Blessing the barley. Damari, you have nothing, huh? We will build one. And go for Fleet Hoof, because we are going on expeditions now. Um, but it is early fire season, and we shall go to war on the Arrowstone. And call in Old Eagle. Open Swords and Phoenix's Bows are facing 11 swords and 93. I will use a magic, and we will try and kill as many as possible. We will go for a skirmish. And another skirmish. Fight cleverly. Baron is up here. Ooh, Baron. So the Battle of the Arrowstone's Flame reads the horse of one of their heroes, Shandala, imbuing over the Divine Fair of Gamari. She charges at your forces. Baron, you are renowned at combat. Meet her charge head on. It's all over Shandala, who fell from horseback, wounded. Her fellows groaned in disbelief. Indeed. We'll press the attack. Push forward as they try to conserve their strength. We'll wait for opportunities, and we have won. We have won. Slaughtering them. 12 cows worth of loot. I expect to have a reprisal raid. The day has arrived. This is a wedding. The day has arrived for Baron the Swift's wedding to Rodaldo, which takes place on our clan's land. As the rite presided over by our mother and twins begins, the Skyrises and several allied rider clans attack the ceremony. They charge straight for the wedding party. What do you do? What do your warriors do? These are our friends. Treachery becomes us. This punishment for ignoring history. Baron the Swift betrayed our Baron. You are fighting for Ridalda. Fight from a distance with spells and arrows. With our with our arrows and magic spells, we aided the clans of bride and groom repulsing attack. The choosing of the two clans declared this preferred would not be permitted to halt the wedding. The marriage of Baron the Swift Rodaldo brought prosperity to both clans. His clan taught hers to break and ride horses and to fight horseback, gifts requiring the magical blessing of Gamari, the horse goddess. Over the generations, so much intermarriage occurred between the lines that the lines between rider and ram became muddy. The more the fame of the Flint Heart clan grew, the more they came to embrace Orlanth and the other storm gods of Rodaldo's people. Meanwhile, our clan's glory dwindled. Like many people in our darkened era, we were forgotten by history and no one would sing our songs. Ouch. What? <laughs> That's the game? Because I didn't... Because I married my guy? Okay. Well. That was a surprise. I have to say. <laughs> now we know? Ah. Some indication whatsoever of the importance of this would have been useful? I mean, he was sent by the god. I, I probably could have figured this out. I just married him off. All we had to do was be patient. Well, now we know for next time and we can review our saga. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We're not going to look through all of this. But I gotta say, yeah, this is the this was the shattering. I gotta say, even though that was a stunning and swift end, and I feel a bit shocked by it, um, still I had an absolute blast. Love the game, love King of Dragon Pass, and I think it's even possible that before we, uh, before we even play. Another round of this one, we might just do a King of Dragon Pass. I don't know, there's, there's, there's a lot of games out right now. Oh, I'm still a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit shocked. We, we had to be the ones to marry her? To unite the clans? That's, that's what it was about? That's what it was all about. We had to befriend them, and we, uh, or unite even. Well, we did not... And so our clan has faded. The makers have faded into obscurity. While Baron the Swift married Rodalda, uniting the clans and bringing the people into one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, okay, well, we can take this time. Think about a little bit 
about what we learned. I mean, well, we learned a lot. We really had no idea what we were doing going in. I had some experience from um, King of Dragon Pass. The game has enough similarities, but I was also playing King of Dragon Pass often in the same way of really having no idea how most of the systems worked. I have a much better understanding of combat now. Um, namely, you know, don't do crazy things. Berserk attacks, for example, probably don't pay off that well. Um, having some blessings. I know there's a way to get more of your, um, more, like a larger percentage of your population to show up for raids as bows. I don't entirely know. I think it's something to do with temples. I'm not entirely sure there. I could probably look that up, but you know, just, I mean, sending out more emissaries early on, doing more trading early on, um, getting more trade routes, uh, all would have been very nice. I did not really realize the importance of it. We did it there right at the end, and then suddenly we were really just swimming, swimming in trade goods. We could not do enough, and all because I let I let our Baron, just to try and keep him happy, marry this other girl. And I didn't let this go through. Ugh. Such a failure. Such a failure. But what can we do? What did we know? We didn't know anything about it. I also think knowing more about the rituals and going into the other side, I think it's called. Um, probably more often is definitely something that you should focus on. That I, we, you should focus on. Um, I think it makes a, a you get huge bonuses from it if you succeed. And like, what is really the cost? You have to spend a little bit of time learning what they are. You have to spend a little bit of time sacrificing to get mysteries, but often you want to do that anyways, just to get access to the blessings themselves. Um, and uh, I mean, you know, getting a hundred cows, get, boot making your people stronger, which is not something I really did but potentially could be worth it. Um, you know, there's just there's just so many boons. There's just so many good things that can come from that. Interesting that uh, the Sanala revelation really had no impact on the end here. Um, not that, I mean, not that I could see. Some people were happy about it. Others were not. But uh, that's it. If you get a chance, yes, please review. Back to the main menu. There it is. I can open it, but it's just going to end it for me, right? It's just, it's over. Indeed, indeed. Well, I mean, I got to say, we had an absolute blast. I'm really curious what's going to happen with the lights going out and the world reborn. Really, really curious about that. Not sure if we're going to do another run through of the game uh, until this happens. Um, I would like to beat it. That would be nice, but... You know, like I said, there are quite a number of games. Maybe we will dive back into King of Dragon Pass. Let me know your thoughts down below. And, um, you know, if you like this video in this series, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. That's what it's there for. Put a lot of content out. Hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I had an absolute blast with it. A lot of reading. It was a very... I, usually at the end of my recording sessions, I come away and I'm just like, my throat's a little bit sore. Because it's just... Of course, I always talk. Um, you know, in the Let's Plays. But with the amount of reading that goes on, it's just, you gotta like constantly go through it. I love it. I love the narrative. I love the world building that we got going on here. But my throat is grateful that the series ends at least. <laughs> and um, yeah, that'll be all for this series. Once again, this was Six Ages, put out by A Sharp not too long ago. Fantastic game. I can definitely recommend it. I mean, if you made it this far, you know what the game is about. And you'll know whether you like it or not. So, you know, do you do you, boo. You do you. And until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.